beam beam is a basic structural element which is constructed in almost all types of buildings it is a horizontal flexural member which has one dimension considerably larger than other two dimensions and is supported at few points based on the support conditions beams are classified into different types in this video we will get a clear idea about the different types of beams used for construction purpose types of beam in that first one is simply supported beam if both the ends of the beam rest freely on a simply supporting column or wall then it is called as simply supported beam it is one of the simplest structure element we know that in simple support only one reaction force that acts always normal to the support and just now we got to know that in case of simply supported beam both ends of a beam rest freely on a supporting columns or walls so in case of simply supported beam also there is only one reaction component at each end which acts right angle to the support just like simple support which can be represented by reactions at point a that is r a and reactions at point b that is r b since the reaction components acts normal to the axis of the beam it can resist the force which are normal to the beam axis that is vertical forces it can resist and if we see rotation factor the simply supported beam cannot resist horizontal force and rotation it is free to rotate the equilibrium equation used to find the unknown reaction force is sum of the forces in vertical direction is equals to 0 we will use this equation to find the unknown reaction force in case of simply supported beam the various structures like stone temples and in temporarily constructing works we can see this simply supported beam structures next second one is cantilever beam you can see in the figure in that one end of the beam constructed into the wall and other end of the beam is free without any support then this type of beam is said to be cantilever beam therefore there are three unknown reaction components at one end of the cantilever beam and no reaction component at free end of the beam the three unknown reaction components are in vertical direction va horizontal direction ha and moment ma if we consider at point a of a beam is fixed and the equilibrium equations used to find the reaction forces in cantilever beam are sum of the forces in vertical direction is equals to 0 that is summation v equals to 0 and sum of the forces in horizontal direction uh, that is summation h equals to 0 and sum of the moment of forces summation m equals to 0 cantilever type of beam is most commonly seen in car parking areas bridges towers etc next the third one is fixed beam as the name itself says in this type of beam both ends are constructed into the wall or column and forms a rigid or fixed end support as shown in the figure we know that in fixed support there are three reaction components in vertical direction horizontal direction and moment and just now we got to know the beam ends are constructed into the wall in case of fixed beam it means the fixed beams are provided with fixed support it is neither permitted to move in any direction nor allowed to rotate so there are six unknown reaction components that is three unknown reaction components at each end we will get these unknown reaction components cannot be determined by using equilibrium equations alone so fixed beam is a statically indeterminate beam in reality fixed beam is seen in construction of high rise buildings steel structures etc next fourth type of beam is continuous beam if in case of any beam having more than two supports the support may be of a simple support roller support or hinged support or fixed support then that type of beam is considered as a continuous beam for example you can refer the figure shown in that the beam is supported by simple support at two points and fixed support at another point then it is considered as a continuous beam because it has more than two supports so in such beams there are three or more unknown reaction components can exist and these unknown reaction components cannot be found by using equilibrium equations alone so 
continuous beam is a statically indeterminate beam. In case of bridge constructions and also in multi-story building construction, continuous beam can be seen. Next fifth type of beam is overhanging beam. If a beam is projecting behind the support or supports, the support may be of simple support or roller support or pinnet support. Then we can say it is a overhanging beam. The overhanging projection may be on one side only that is single overhanging or it may be on both the sides that is double overhanging. In overhanging beam, two or three unknown reaction components can exist. And these unknown reactions can be determined using equations of equilibrium. Overhanging beams generally used to make shades or balconies in case of residential buildings. Next beam type is both hands injured beam. By name itself, you can guess the type of supports used in this beam. In this type of beam, both ends of the beams is constructed as hinged or pinned support. We know that in hinged or pinned support, there are two reaction components which are in mutually perpendicular direction. Therefore, in case of both hand hinged beam, there are total four unknown reaction components. Two at each end we will get. These unknown reaction components cannot be determined by using equations of equilibrium alone. So, both hand hinged beam is a statically indeterminate beam. This type of beam can be seen in bridges, trusses, etc. Next type of beam is one end injured and other on roller. As the name suggests, one end of the beam is on injured support and other end is on roller support as shown in the figure. In this type of beam, at hinged support, we get two unknown reaction components in two mutually perpendicular direction and at roller support, one unknown reaction component which is normal to the support. So totally we get three unknown reaction components and these reaction components can be determined using equilibrium equations. This type of beam can be seen in bridge constructions. Next type of beam is proper cantilever beam. We already got to know that in case of cantilever beam, one end is fixed and other end is free without any support. If we provide a support, it may be of simple support or roller support to the free end of a cantilever beam, then it becomes proper cantilever beam. It means in proper cantilever beam, one end of the beam is on fixed support and other end of the beam is on roller or simple support. So, in case of proper cantilever beam, we get three unknown reaction components at fixed end and one unknown reaction component at roller or simply supported end. So, total of four unknown reaction components we will get. This unknown reaction components cannot be determined by using equations of equilibrium alone. So, proper cantilever beam is a statically indeterminate beam. This type of beam can be seen in balcony supports, the wings of an aircraft, etc. Hope you got to know the different types of beams which are classified depending upon types of supports and the general applications where we are using which type of beams. If you have any doubt, let me know in comment section. Please like, share and subscribe to Civil Today. Thank you for watching. See you on the next video.